In this video, I will show you how I created this client video from a real-world example. And how are we doing it, Mr. Bubbles? We will take a look at how this guy was able to create and deliver this client video that included animated characters, seven locations, and it was delivered in under two weeks. I will show you every tool and resource I used with free alternatives. In the first part of this video, we will create the environment fast. Then we put materials, then fill the space with assets, and finally, put in our actors. And I will give you a lot of tips and tricks along the way. Don't forget about the thing. Yeah, uh, this is not a photorealism tutorial, and it's not a step-by-step -step tutorial either. We will go pretty fast, but I packed a lot of tips and tricks into a lot of places in this video. I've gotten a lot of client works very similar to this, and I noticed I'm using the same few tools in all of them. That makes this process super fast and high quality. Although these are going to be real-world examples, I won't be showing the product to. Instead, we will have our beloved Suzanne as the product. Here is the mission. The client wants to showcase their product in seven different locations. Office, hotel lobby, inside of a car, a And a few others. Let's begin with the first location, the office. I googled office, looked at a few reference images and tried to recreate something similar to those images. I started with a cube in Blender, made it look like a room. Then using the Archimesh add-on that comes with Blender, I created the windows. This object called control hole goes into a separate collection. I duplicated the window group using alt D. Then I added boolean modifier to the cube, chose the collection with the control hole objects. If it's glitchy like this, just give the cube a little bit of thickness with the solidify modifier. Then drag the solidify modifier on top of the boolean. I made the sum brighter and added an environment texture. The quickest way to do this is go to work properties, click on this yellow circle and press E while your mouse is hovering over the options. I found an HDRI and brought it in. I chose one with a city so it looks like our office is in a city without having to model the outside. If you don't have an HDRI you can get it from Polyhaven, they're completely free. I made another hole in the back to let more light inside of the office. Then to get most of my assets I used Cargo. You can use sites like CG Trader, TurboSquid or Sketchfab. They have amazing quality models over there. I use Cargo because it's quite convenient. It has one click import and it is a large and amazing asset library. I searched for desk and this is the one I used in the client video. I downloaded it and imported it in with just one click. I positioned it then I go into edit mode and bring down this bit so we can see the desk more clearly because that's where our product will go. Then bring in more office assets like monitor, keyboard, mouse and an office chair. Put them all in a collection and called it desk. I bring in a geometry node setup. This is just a mesh line connected to an instance on points and a collection info node. I chose the collection and it creates an array of that collection. Now, it's time to texture the space. There are a lot of free and amazing materials out there, mainly Polyhaven and Ambient CG. These are completely free, high quality and royalty free, so you can use them in any project. I have a lot of materials from those sites inside my asset browser, so I can quickly throw them into my scenes. For this scene, however, I used real-time materials by Ducky 3 d This is a great and growing collection of procedural materials made in Blender. Instead of image textures, these are completely procedural materials. It also has a free version that has 40 materials in it for you to play around with, which is super nice and all of these materials are customizable. Real-time materials actually comes in in this add-on format, but I went into the project file and chose what I needed, marked them as assets, so the materials live in my asset browser instead of the side panel. I threw different materials for the ground, and the walls. Now let's fill the space with actors. A free option would be Mixamo, lots of characters and lots of animations. But for higher quality and faster workflow, here are the tools I use. Procedural Crowds add-on. It's quite inexpensive, comes with a bunch of models and a couple of animations. Great for background crowds. Population add-on. Comes with a lot of high quality scanned models and a lot of animations right inside of Blender. Super convenient. Another great option is iClone. It comes with a bunch of scanned actors in it. You can also purchase a lot of new actor packs for the environments you need. Although this option is more expensive compared to the other options, when you get bigger clients, this will be in your budget. Additionally, the iClone actors have facial expressions and they can talk. I didn't need this feature for this client, but it's a great feature to have. iClone comes with a full-on crowd simulation system in it, and these crowds can later be transferred to any other 3D program easily. I plan to make an extensive video about this in the future. There's also Character Creator for, you guessed it right, creating characters. This program can work together seamlessly with iClone, and it can create amazing characters for games and animations. I've used it a lot to create the characters in my renders. You can find more of my works on Instagram. Back to the client video. Inside iClone, I threw actors into the scene. And for iClone, you can use motions from anywhere, like custom-made motion capture files or mix them animations. As I mentioned before, they are free. All you have to do is just drag and drop the FBX file onto the character. If the motion you're looking for is not on Mixamo, you can also purchase animations and animation packs from ActorCore, specifically made for iClone actors. I got these desk animations and assigned them to my characters. Then select all the characters, file, export, FBX, 
choose Blender, 30 frames per second is good, then click all so all of the animation comes in. Maximum texture size 2K is often good enough. Then I click export and import them into Blender using the CC tools add-on. I place the actors on their spots. Then I added extra details and decorations. For this, I used Botanic add-on. This is one of my favorite add-ons that I use every day. It comes with a large selection of trees, more trees, bushes, shrubs, plants, and even some pots and other stuff. This is an ever-growing library of assets. Here I choose a couple of plants and some pots under them. One other great use case of Botanic is that it comes with pre-made particle systems. One of the locations was this house and I made this garden in seconds like this. Back to the office, to turn this into a sequence rather than just one shot, I click on the camera and mark it into the timeline by pressing Ctrl B while my mouse is hovering over the timeline. I duplicated the camera, choose the second one, Ctrl B again and mark the next camera and so on. Now the shot will move from one camera to the other. I animated slow dolly in moves and finally a spin around the object. For this I used an empty, parent my camera to the empty and spin the empty to have the perfect spin movement. For the hotel lobby, I followed similar steps. First, I looked at some examples, chose one that I like, and I tried to recreate it from a cube. Textured the inside with real-time materials. I placed chairs, couches, carpets, and paintings on the wall. Creating paintings and carpets are super easy. Just import an image with images as planes, extrude, inset, and extrude back in to have a painting with a frame. It's much the same for the carpet. If you add hair particle system on top of an image, that's a carpet right there. Although. Carpet with particle system takes longer to render, but it looks great. But even without a particle system, if it looks like a carpet, it's a carpet. The reception area came from cargo again. It was from this hospital kit. I removed all the parts that related to a hospital and bam, it's now an hotel reception. For the car, I used traffic. This is another amazing add-on from the great people who created Botanic. This add-on comes with a great selection of high quality car models and a few other transportation models like planes, bus, bikes, motorcycles and all sorts of stuff. Plus all the cars are rigged for animation. You can drive a curve and the cars can drive on it. All the cars also have an interior and that is what the client needed. So I used the car from this add-on. I got a character from iClone with an idle animation. I brought it into Blender with CC Tools add-on with the Rigify option checked. Now I can go under item, turn the feet and the hand bones into IK and delete all the animation except the head. Position the hands on the wheels and feet where they need to be. Now the actor is driving the car and we can showcase our product. This was just one example from a client video I created recently and I wanted to show my process of creating a video like this. I hope you enjoyed this process slash breakdown video and if you did and would like to see more like this let me know down in the comments so I know to make more videos like this. And don't forget to stay hydrated.